Well, actually, what a great round. Five under through six, eight under through 12 holes, 17 points today. All that said, just kind of talk to us a little bit about how the day went for you. Yeah, it was good. I, uh, I wouldn't say this golf course or the altitude really suits my game. I mean, we've, we've hit some great shots, and then we've hit some shots that have been super confusing on the numbers and, and everything, and I curve the ball so much, so it kind of limits me to, to a few things. But um, I figured, you know, I moved my ball position back a little bit uh, yesterday with the driver, the three with everything pretty much, and started hitting it really good off the tee. Uh, I had a lot of really good putts the last couple weeks. They just haven't fallen, and I've made a few today, which uh, which is great. I mean, birdies and eagles are big, and making no bogeys especially is always, you know, really good in this format. Yeah, I know you've played here once before, but how much of a learning curve is there with the altitude change? Is your ball, you have to dial it back a good bit? Yeah, I mean, the ball goes far here, yeah. but for me, like, I change flights, ball flights so easily. Okay. So when I'm, I don't really ever hit high shots or stock shots, so... It's been a little tricky trying to gauge that, but I feel like today we had a lot more, a lot better numbers to where I could hit fuller shots, and um, you know played a little bit more aggressive on a couple of tee shots, which which led to a couple of birdies. So, okay, last two questions for me: um, format. Do you like the Stableford format? Obviously, you probably wouldn't want to be doing it every week, but is this a unique kind of a, a nice little change up pace? Yeah, I mean for sure. I think the golf course, the the area, it. It, it's perfect for this for this format. Um, I mean, you're playing in altitude. You got drivable, drivable par fours. You got short par fives. Um, so it's a great format to make a ton of birdies. And uh, yeah, I enjoy it. I mean, I like it because I feel like if I make a ton of birdies, then it it goes my way. So. And then finally, for me, um, coming off top ten last week at Barbasol, just how you feeling about your game overall right now? I know I'm close to winning. And it's a good feeling. I mean, Rocket Mortgage was weird. I mean, mentality-wise, I just wasn't there. And then John Deere, I felt like I was going to win that week, and I played some really good golf. Mm -hmm. Last week was weird because I I played good the final round, but I never felt like it was a great week. And obviously finishing top ten and you know gaining points and everything is mm -hmm. important out here. But it's just amazing the perspective you have when you just kind of wish you did – you know, certain things a little different. I would have been, you know, pretty close to the hosting that trophy last week. So, perfect. You good? Just for me, real quick, I wanted to ask you about this journey over the last couple of years. It seems like you've had some really high highs and maybe some lows as well. It feels like maybe you're finding a bit of consistency here. Do you feel that? Yeah, I mean, it's never going to be consistent in this game, especially with the best players in the world. I mean, I've played really good on the opposite field events, and I haven't, you know, I haven't played as well as I'd like in the in the bigger events that. I've had the opportunity to play, and uh, I think, you know, me and my caddy, we just started a couple of weeks ago, and he's been a huge uh, attribute to me because he's so experienced, he knows how to win, and I think just his, his aura around me is, uh, has certainly helped me feel more confident because he knows how good I am, he's seen it all, and uh, it just kind of feeds the fire, you know, so I... Uh, it's been a, you know, a lot of ups and downs. I never expected to, you know, play a pretty much full schedule out here this year. So it's, uh, I just got to be thankful more than take it the other way. How big is it to have somebody that can remind you of the highs and how good you can be? Yeah, I mean, it's huge because he's seen it. He's won out here. He's played in major championships. And for me, I'm just learning everything. And, um, you know, I just have a lot of trust in him and, we built a pretty good foundation, you know, our, our prep and everything. I, I can just relax and let him tell me where to hit it, and hopefully I can do that. So, Awesome. Just got one more right down here.